Did you know that as we age, our vibrant social lives naturally transition into a preference for solitude? When we are young, we thrive on the company of friends and the excitement of new relationships. But as we grow older, there is a natural shift from sociability to solitude. This change is not necessarily a negative one, it is a reflection of our evolving understanding of life. In our youth, we choose to be sociable because we are still exploring the world and its many circles. But as we age, we start to appreciate the value of solitude, finding peace in our own company. This video explores the Stoic philosophy behind this transition and how it aligns with the natural course of life. 1. Changes in lifestyle with age As we navigate through different stages of life, our priorities and preferences inevitably change. In our younger years, we often enjoy inviting friends over, sharing meals and engaging in lively conversations. The home becomes a sanctuary where friendships are nurtured and bonds are strengthened. This sense of camaraderie and sincere connection feels essential. However, as we age, we begin to see the world through a different lens. The hustle and bustle of social gatherings lose their appeal and we start to seek quieter, more meaningful experiences. This shift is not just about physical age, but a deeper philosophical understanding of what truly brings us contentment. 2. The shift from sociability to solitude. There comes a time in life when the constant need for social interaction diminishes. Middle-aged and older individuals often find themselves interacting less frequently with strangers and even old friends. This is not due to a lack of interest, but rather a sense of having experienced much of what life has to offer. The noise of the outside world gives way to the tranquility of solitude. This change can be profound, evoking a sense of nostalgia for the days when social engagements were frequent and fulfilling. Yet, it also brings curiosity about the newfound peace and the inner journey that comes with it. Through Stoicism, we learn to embrace this solitude, understanding that it is a natural progression of life. 3. The effect of hypocrisy on friendships. In our younger years, we often believe in the purity and sincerity of friendships. We enjoy the company of friends, believing that these relationships are built on genuine affection and trust. However, as we grow older, we encounter the harsh realities of human nature. Hypocrisy and insincerity become more apparent and we start to reassess our connections. The saying, those who approach red become red, those who approach ink become black, resonates deeply. It signifies how our environment and the people around us influence our perceptions and behaviors. This realization often leads to a natural distancing from social interactions as we seek authenticity and truth in our relationships. The teachings of Stoicism guide us to understand and accept these changes, focusing on inner peace rather than external validation. 4. Different priorities in old age. In old age, our priorities shift dramatically the lively gatherings and frequent visits that once brought joy now seem like disturbances. We start to value quiet, personal time, engaging in activities that bring us inner peace and satisfaction. This could be enjoying a cup of tea, tending to a garden, or simply spending time with family. The emphasis moves from social obligations to personal well-being. This change can be nostalgic, reminding us of the days when social interactions were the highlight of our lives. But it also sparks curiosity about the simplicity and joy found in solitude. Through the lens of Stoicism, we learn that this shift is a natural part of life's journey, helping us focus on what truly matters. 5. Disturbance caused by visiting others. One significant reason for the shift away from social visits in old age is the potential disturbance it causes. 
Each family has its dynamics and routines, and uninvited visits can disrupt this delicate balance. For instance, a well-meaning friend might invite you over out of politeness, but their family may not share the same enthusiasm. This can lead to awkwardness and a sense of being unwelcome, even if the initial invitation seemed sincere. Reflecting on personal experiences or stories of others, we understand how such visits, once a source of happiness, can become burdensome. Stoicism teaches us to respect these boundaries, valuing our peace and the peace of others. It helps us find contentment in our own space, avoiding unnecessary disturbances. 6. Troubles of Frequent Visits In the twilight years, frequent visits can often lead to unintended troubles. While having someone to chat with and spend time with may seem like a delightful way to pass the time, it can also bring about complications. For example, gathering together often results in lengthy conversations where words might be spoken carelessly, causing misunderstandings or conflicts. A simple visit meant to bridge companionship can inadvertently lead to disputes, especially when sensitive topics arise. Mrs. Wong, who lives upstairs, learned this the hard way. Enthusiastic about socializing, she often visited her friends for long chats. However, an offhand remark about her daughter-in-law led to significant family discord. This illustrates how, despite good intentions, frequent visits can disrupt the harmony of one's personal life. Stoicism encourages us to be mindful of our words and actions promoting peace and avoiding unnecessary conflict. 7. Conflicts arising from gossip. Gossip, an unintended byproduct of frequent visits, can wreak havoc on relationships. In our younger years, casual conversations about mutual acquaintances or family members might seem harmless and even entertaining. However, as we age, the repercussions of such idle talk become more pronounced. For instance, Ms. Wong's candid comments about her daughter-in-law during a visit to a friend's house created a rift in her own family. The words, meant in casual conversation, reached her daughter-in-law's ears, causing a significant strain in their relationship. This experience underscores the importance of cautious communication. Through the lens of Stoicism, we learn to speak only what is necessary and beneficial, avoiding the pitfalls of gossip and fostering more profound, more meaningful interactions. 8. Economic Differences and Psychological Imbalance Economic disparities can subtly but significantly impact social relationships, especially in old age. When people from different economic backgrounds visit each other frequently, the disparity can create an uncomfortable atmosphere. The wealthier individual might inadvertently showcase their superior lifestyle, leading to feelings of inadequacy or jealousy in the less affluent one. This psychological imbalance can strain relationships that were once harmonious. Stoicism teaches us to focus on what we can control, our perceptions and reactions, rather than external circumstances like wealth. By understanding this principle, we can navigate these social dynamics with grace, avoiding visits that might highlight economic differences and instead fostering connections based on mutual respect and understanding. 9. Preference for solitude and personal space. As we grow older, the allure of solitude becomes increasingly appealing. The once desired social gatherings now feel like an intrusion on personal space and peace. The preference shifts towards quiet, solitary activities that allow for introspection and relaxation. For example, Mr. Lee, who used to host numerous friends at his home, now finds joy in simple pleasures like gardening or enjoying a quiet cup of tea alone. This shift from sociability to solitude is a natural progression as we seek to protect our inner peace and mental well-being. Stoicism beautifully aligns with this preference, teaching us to find contentment within ourselves 
rather than in the approval or company of others. It emphasizes the importance of self-reflection and inner tranquility. 10. Festive times and changes in social behavior. Festive times, once filled with joy and bustling social interactions, often transform into quieter, more introspective periods in old age. People used to eagerly visit friends and family to exchange greetings and celebrate together. However, the exhaustion of life and the diminishing genuine connections make these traditions less appealing. Nowadays, many prefer to spend festive times in the comfort of their homes, engaging in personal rituals rather than social gatherings. This change is not due to a lack of festive spirit, but a shift in how joy and contentment are perceived. Stoicism teaches us that true happiness comes from within and that we do not need external festivities to feel fulfilled. By embracing this philosophy, we can appreciate the peace and simplicity of solitary celebrations. 11. The colder life, the warmer, the love for family. As life becomes colder and more detached from external social interactions, the love and warmth for family grow stronger. The focus shifts from maintaining numerous friendships to nurturing deep, meaningful relationships with close family members. This transition is driven by the realization that true support and genuine affection often come from within the family unit. For instance, Mr. Brown, who once had a large circle of friends, now cherishes quiet evenings with his grandchildren and immediate family. Stoicism reinforces this shift by emphasizing the importance of familial bonds and the serenity found in close-knit relationships. It encourages us to invest our time and energy in those who matter most, finding solace and joy in the love and support of our family. As we journey through life, the shift from sociability to solitude becomes a natural and enriching transition. Embracing solitude does not mean isolation. Instead, it allows us to cultivate a deeper understanding of ourselves and our place in the world. The teachings of Stoicism guide us in this transformation, helping us find peace and contentment within, regardless of external circumstances. By valuing solitude, we gain clarity and resilience, enabling us to navigate life's challenges with greater wisdom and tranquility. Thank you for watching and exploring the Stoic perspective on the natural shift from sociability to solitude. If you've watched this far, drop a comment below. This shows that you're part of the 0.01% who actually finish what they start. If you're serious about changing your life, make sure to join our community by subscribing to our channel. Together, we can continue to grow and find strength in the timeless wisdom of Stoicism.